Welcome to Easy Driver, the most reliable source of automotive information on YouTube. Troubleshooting a bad connection in your starting circuit, a comprehensive guide. When your car struggles to start, it can be frustrating and concerning. One possible culprit is a bad connection in the starting circuit. Understanding the signs and symptoms of a bad connection is crucial for diagnosing and resolving the issue efficiently. In this video, we'll explore the common indicators of a bad connection in the starting circuit, potential causes, and steps for troubleshooting and resolving this problem. This is Easy Driver, the most reliable source of automotive information on YouTube. Please subscribe, comment, like and share our channel with your associates. Whether you're a seasoned car enthusiast or a novice, having a clear understanding of this issue can save you time, money, and hassle in the long run. Understanding the starting circuit. The starting circuit in a vehicle is a critical system responsible for initiating the engine's operation. Understanding its components and their roles is essential for diagnosing and resolving potential issues. What is the starting circuit? The starting circuit is an electrical system that enables the engine to begin its combustion process. It comprises various components that work together to convert electrical energy into mechanical motion, allowing the engine to start and run. Components of the starting circuit battery the battery serves as the primary source of electrical energy for the starting circuit. It provides the initial power required to engage the starter motor and ignite the engine. Starter motor. The starter motor is a powerful electric motor that receives electrical current from the battery. Its function is to turn the engine's flywheel, initiating the internal combustion process. Ignition switch. The ignition switch is a key operated device that controls the flow of electrical power within the starting circuit. When the key is turned, the ignition switch sends a signal to engage the starter motor. Wiring and connections. The wiring and connections within the starting circuit are crucial for transmitting electrical signals between the battery, starter motor, and ignition switch. Proper insulation and secure connections are vital for efficient circuit operation. Understanding the starting circuit and its key components provides valuable insight into the intricacies of a vehicle's electrical system. By comprehending each element's function, one can identify and address potential issues, ensuring a reliable and efficient starting process. Signs of a bad connection in the starting circuit. Engine cranks slowly or not at all. When you turn the key and the engine cranks very slowly or not at all, it's a clear indication of a bad connection in the starting circuit. This slow cranking could be due to corroded battery terminals, a weak battery, or loose connections in the circuit. Clicking noise when trying to start the engine. If you hear a rapid clicking noise when attempting to start the engine, it may be a sign of a bad connection. This sound often occurs when the starter solenoid is not receiving enough power due to a poor electrical connection. It could also be caused by a faulty starter motor or a weak battery. Intermittent starting issues. Intermittent starting problems, where the engine starts sometimes but not others, can be attributed to a bad connection in the starting circuit. This inconsistency in starting could be the result of loose or corroded wiring, a faulty ignition switch, or a problematic starter motor. Flickering dashboard lights. Flickering dashboard lights when trying to start the engine indicate a potential bad connection in the starting circuit. This could be caused by a voltage drop due to poor connections in the circuit, leading to inadequate power supply to the electrical components. In conclusion, being aware of these signs can help you identify potential bad connections in the starting circuit of your vehicle, enabling you to address the issues promptly and ensure reliable vehicle operation. Common causes of bad connections. Corrosion on battery terminals. Corrosion on the battery terminals is a common culprit for bad connections in the starting circuit. When battery terminals become corroded, it creates a barrier between the battery and the electrical system, hindering the flow of current. This can result in difficulty starting the engine or intermittent electrical issues. Loose or damaged wiring. Loose or damaged wiring within the starting circuit can lead to bad connections. Over time, wiring can become worn or frayed, causing resistance and preventing the smooth flow of electrical current. Additionally, loose connections can disrupt the transfer of electricity, leading to starting problems. Faulty ignition switch. 
A faulty ignition switch can also be a source of bad connections. The ignition switch is responsible for initiating the starting process by engaging the starter motor. If the switch is worn or malfunctioning, it can lead to inconsistent connections, resulting in starting issues or complete failure. Wear and tear on starter motor. Wear and tear on the starter motor can contribute to bad connections in the starting circuit. As the starter motor ages, its internal components can degrade, leading to diminished electrical contact. This can manifest as slow cranking or non-responsive starting, indicating a compromised connection within the circuit. Diagnostic steps. When troubleshooting a potential bad connection in the starting circuit, the following diagnostic steps can help you pinpoint the issue and work towards a solution. Visual inspection of connections. Start by visually inspecting all the connections in the starting circuit. Look for any signs of damage, corrosion, or loose connections. Pay close attention to the battery terminals, starter solenoid connections, and any other connections in the circuit. Testing battery voltage. Using a multimeter, test the voltage of the battery. A healthy battery should ideally have a voltage of around 12.6 volts. If the voltage is significantly lower, it could indicate a battery issue that is affecting the starting circuit. Checking wiring and terminals for corrosion. Corrosion on wiring and terminals can impede the flow of electricity in the starting circuit, leading to connection issues. Thoroughly inspect all wiring and terminals for any signs of corrosion, and clean or replace any corroded components as necessary. Starter motor testing. Perform a thorough test of the starter motor to ensure it is functioning properly. This can involve testing the electrical connections to the starter motor, as well as the motor's mechanical operation. A malfunctioning starter motor can often be the cause of a bad connection in the starting circuit. By systematically conducting these diagnostic steps, you can gain valuable insights into the condition of the starting circuit and identify any potential bad connections that may be causing issues. Resolving bad connection issues. A reliable starting circuit is vital for a vehicle's operation. Bad connections in the starting circuit can lead to various problems and prevent the vehicle from starting. Recognizing and addressing these issues is crucial to ensure the smooth operation of your vehicle. Cleaning and tightening battery terminals. Regular maintenance of the battery terminals is essential to prevent bad connections. Over time, corrosion and debris can accumulate on the terminals, leading to poor contact with the cables. To resolve this issue, start by disconnecting the terminals and using a mixture of baking soda and water to clean off the corrosion. After cleaning, ensure a tight connection when reattaching the cables to the terminals, providing a solid electrical connection. Repairing OR Replacing Damaged Wiring Damaged or frayed wiring in the starting circuit can result in bad connections, impeding the flow of electricity. It is essential to inspect the wiring throughout the starting circuit for any signs of damage. If damaged wiring is identified, it should be promptly repaired or replaced to restore proper connectivity and ensure the efficient operation of the starting circuit. Ignition switch replacement A faulty ignition switch can lead to bad connections within the starting circuit, causing issues with starting the vehicle. If the ignition switch is suspected to be the culprit, it is recommended to replace it with a new, functioning switch. By doing so, you can ensure that the electrical connections within the starting circuit are reliable, allowing for seamless vehicle startup. Starter Motor Repair OR Replacement A malfunctioning starter motor can also result in bad connections within the starting circuit. If the starter motor is not functioning as intended, it can lead to intermittent starting issues or complete failure to start. Addressing this issue may involve repairing the starter motor if feasible, or opting for a replacement to guarantee proper connectivity within the starting circuit. By addressing bad connection issues through cleaning and tightening battery terminals, repairing or replacing damaged wiring, ignition switch replacement, and starter motor repair or replacement, you can effectively resolve starting circuit issues and ensure the reliable operation of your vehicle. In closing, identifying and addressing a bad connection in the starting circuit is crucial for ensuring the proper functioning of the vehicle. By conducting a thorough inspection of the wiring, battery terminals, and starter solenoid, you can pinpoint and rectify any problematic connections. Timely intervention not only prevents potential breakdowns but also contributes to the overall longevity and performance of the vehicle.
Always prioritize regular maintenance and proactive troubleshooting to uphold the efficiency of the starting circuit. Please remember to comment, like, share, and subscribe for more automotive information like this. Thank you for watching.